Hero Man begins by showing a young man named Joseph Carter, or better known as Joey. Joey is a kind and independent middle school student. Because Joey's parents have died, now Joey lives with his grandmother. After school, Joey usually works as a waiter in a cafe because he has to help his grandmother to pay for their living expenses. Joey also has an older sister who is currently out of town for work. That morning, Joey went to school as usual. On his way to school, Joey meets his classmate and best friend, Lena. Lena secretly has feelings for Joey, but she still doesn't dare to express her feelings. In the middle of the conversation, Lena's older brother William, alias Will, and his gang began to annoy Joey. This is because Will doesn't like the closeness between him and his younger sister. When Will is bullying Joey, Joey's best friend named Simon comes to help him and scare Will and his gang away. Uh, In his spare time, Joey often visits the satellite laboratory to meet a professor named Denton. Joey has an interest in science and electronics, so he often studies with the professor. In the afternoon, Joey saw an advertisement for a robot toy called Haybo on television. Joey looks amazed and wants to have the robot, but he can't buy it because he doesn't have enough money. After his work was done, Joey went to Professor Denton's laboratory as usual. On that occasion, Professor Denton said that he had succeeded in communicating with extraterrestrials or aliens. Hearing this, Joey was happy and congratulated him. In the afternoon when Joey and Simon are walking back to their house, they see Will and his friends are fighting to be able to play the Haybo robot. The commotion caused the robot to lose control and was eventually damaged by being hit by a car. Will's friend, who feels the robot is useless, decides to immediately throw the robot into the trash. Unbeknownst to them, Joey picks up the broken robot and takes it home, as he intends to repair the robot. At night, Joey is busy repairing the broken parts of the robot. Unfortunately, after the robot was successfully repaired, the controller of the robot was completely dead and did not work. Even so, Joey was happy because he could have the robot he really wanted. Joey even gave the robot a name called Hero Man. The following night, Joey accidentally witnesses his Hero Man robot being struck by lightning. A few seconds later, Hero Man's remote control suddenly activated and instantly turned into a robotic control arm that fused with Joey's hand. When Joey tries to activate the controller, Hero Man suddenly activates and turns into a large robot. Joey looks surprised, but he finally got used to the robot. That night, Joey gets a signal that there is a car accident happening in the vicinity. Joey and Hero Man immediately went to the location to save the victim. Turns out, the people who got into the car accident were Lena and her father. Joey immediately took Lena and her father out and then took them to a safer place. After that, Joey and Hero Man immediately left the location. The next day, Joey tells Simon about Hero Man and his new powers. But Simon didn't take those words seriously because what Joey said didn't make any sense. When Joey and Simon are at school, they are suddenly surprised by a group of aliens attacking their town. Seeing this, Joey immediately went to the satellite laboratory to meet Professor Denton. Joey recalled that the professor had communicated with aliens a few days ago. Shortly after, some aliens came to Professor Denton's place and started threatening him. At the same time, Lena screamed because she accidentally saw some aliens in front of her. Seeing the increasingly precarious conditions, Joey decided to fight the aliens with the help of Hero Man. After Joey activates it, Hero Man immediately fights all alien in that place. And after a fairly fierce battle, Joey was finally able to defeat them. But it turns out that it actually makes the situation even more dangerous. A UFO plane suddenly appears and sends down more alien troops to do damage and attack the townspeople. Joey and his friends immediately evacuated to a shelter like other residents. Joey then asked Simon for help to accompany him to pick up his grandmother who was still at home. After arriving home, Joey and Simon immediately took her to the refugee camp. On the other hand, the aliens started building bases at some point, including in other countries. It seems that the alien wants to take over planet Earth as their home. Meanwhile, at the evacuation site, Lena tells Joey that Will still hasn't arrived at the evacuation site. Hearing this, Joey tried to calm Lena down and promised that he would find Will. After that, Joey and Simon went to where Professor Denton was analyzing the alien debris that had been found. Shortly after, Joey and the others heard a very loud banging sound from the center of the city. 
it turned out that the sound came from a giant ball moving toward the evacuation site. Seeing this, Joey and Professor Denton immediately rushed to hold the giant ball with the power of Hero Man, while Simon told all residents in the evacuation area to immediately move to another place. Fortunately, all residents were successfully evacuated and moved to a safer location. After successfully resisting the giant ball's attack, Joey and the others were surprised by the appearance of another giant ball. Therefore, Joey and the others chose to take shelter in Professor Denton's place while thinking of a way to stop all the alien attacks. Professor Denton then suggested that they attack the alien troops first. Joey and Simon then rushed to put the plan into action. Before Simon left, Professor Denton first gave Simon a weapon so he could help Joey. They then begin to attack and defeat the alien forces one by one. In the midst of their efforts to defeat the alien troops, Joey and Simon again meet Will, who turns out to have been controlled by the alien troops. Seeing this, they decided to retreat and return to Professor Denton's place with Lena whom they had accidentally met earlier. Professor Denton then explained that the giant ball had spread out at various points in their city. Therefore, they decided to go to the main headquarters of the aliens to find the giant ball controller. After arriving at the main headquarters, Joey, Simon, and Professor Denton immediately went about their respective tasks. Joey and Hero Man will make a fuss to distract the aliens, while Simon and Professor Denton will infiltrate the main base in search of a control device. After successfully getting into the main headquarters, Professor Denton and Simon accidentally met the leader of an alien squad named Kogor. Fortunately, Joey and Hero Man came and directly fought Kogor. After a long battle, Joey and Hero Man finally defeated the alien. After that, the professor went to the control room to stop the giant ball attack that was spreading around the city. Shortly after, the alien base began to collapse, so Joey and the others immediately left the place to save themselves. Now that they have overcome various difficulties and obstacles, Joey and the others can finally save the city and destroy the alien base. A few months later, the city's infrastructure has been successfully repaired, and the townspeople have returned to their homes. Joey and the others were also living their lives as usual. However, Will still can't return to his home because he has turned into a half-alien human, and he chooses to isolate himself from the lives of other humans. In the evening, when Joey is training to fight with Hero Man, Joey gets news that the government is investigating the whereabouts of Hero Man and Joey. That's why Professor Denton asked him to be more careful. On the next morning, Joey was surprised that his older sister named Ollie had returned home from out of town. While at work, Joey asks one of his regular customers named Hawk for tips on dating. As it turned out, Joey and Lena were going on a date this weekend together. At the end of the week, according to their promise, Joey and Lena went on a date together. Joey seemed happy and enjoying his time with Lena. But in the middle of their date, they suddenly received news that there had been an attack from a robot created by a scientist named Professor Minami. Hearing this, Joey then asked Lena to wait somewhere while he went to Professor Minami's location to defeat the robot. After arriving there, Joey immediately activated Hero Man and controlled him to defeat Professor Minami's robot. After a fierce battle, Hero Man could finally destroy the robot. And after that, Joey returned to meet Lena and continue their date. <laughs> In the evening, Joey receives a call from Professor Denton to see him immediately. When Joey meets Professor Denton and Simon, Joey gets information that currently Hero Man is being accused of being a dangerous robot by the media. This is because Professor Minami has engineered a photo that makes Hero Man look like a dangerous robot. Hearing this, Joey decides to take Hero Man away from this city so that they are not arrested by government agents. The next morning, Joey and the others immediately left town in a van. In the middle of the escape, Joey accidentally meets with Hawk who turns out to be a government agent. After conversing with Joey, Hawk finally realized that Joey would not abuse Hero Man to harm others. So Hawk decides to help Joey restore Hero Man's good name. In the middle of the conversation, Joey and Hawk are suddenly attacked by a robot from Professor Minami. Hawk immediately ordered Joey to fight the robot with Hero Man, while he was going to seek help from his comrades. Joey and Hero Man continue to fight against the robot, until finally Hawk and his colleagues come to help him. At the same time, a reporter also came to cover the fight between Hero Man and Dr. Minami's robot. Thus, the public finally learned that Hero Man is a harmless robot, and is only trying to stop the damage created by Professor Minami's robot. After a long battle, Joey and Hero Man managed to defeat it. After that, the government immediately imprisoned Professor Minami and his subordinates. Meanwhile, Joey resumes his normal life with his friends. Joey also feels relieved because Hero Man is now known as a good robot who has merit in the eyes of the public. 
A few days later, several explosions occurred at various points in Joey's country. All the explosions occurred in a place that became the center of research and storage of alien debris that is still left on Earth. Knowing this, Joey and Professor Denton decide to keep their alien fragments from being stolen by criminals. Unfortunately, the criminals managed to find them, and immediately barged into their place. It turns out one of the criminals who stole the alien shards is Will, who has now become stronger. Joey tries to resist the attack and fights Will, but Joey still can't stop him from snatching the alien shard. Surprisingly, Will did not steal the alien shard, but instead destroyed it and then left the place. A few days later, the troubles in the city resurfaced. Recently, there have been many kidnappings of people and livestock. Joey and the others decide to investigate who the culprit behind the crime is. Professor Denton will go first to investigate, while Joey and Simon will wait until their business is done. The next day, Joey started to worry because Professor Denton still hadn't come back. Joey then invites Simon and Ollie to help him find the whereabouts of Professor Denton. In the afternoon when they were in an area where kidnappings were common, the kidnapper suddenly appeared and attacked them. As a result, Ollie was kidnapped by criminals and held captive in their hideout. Joey becomes even more worried because after the disappearance of Professor Denton, now his older sister has also been kidnapped. They then enlist the help of Hawk and his colleagues to find the coordinates of the kidnappers' whereabouts. After successfully finding the hiding location of the kidnappers, they immediately went to the place. Arriving at the location, they immediately traced a tunnel. And after quite a long search, Joey and the others were finally able to find Ollie and Professor Denton. Joey then asks Professor Denton to take Ollie to a safer place, while he and Simon will fight the kidnappers with the help of Hero Man's powers. It turns out that the kidnapper is a subordinate of Kogor, the alien leader who had previously been defeated by Joey. After a very fierce battle, Joey and Hero Man were finally able to defeat Kogor's men. Thus, all other abductees can be saved. The next day, Hawk meets Joey and the others at Professor Denton's place. Hawk says that Will actually committed no crime at all. He purposely destroyed all the alien fragments so that Kogor's men could not resurrect Kogor. Hearing this, Joey and Simon were relieved. At the same time, they received news that currently Kogor's men who were still surviving, were carrying out an attack on the presidential building. Oh. Hearing that, Joey and the others rushed over there to fight Kogor's men. Joey felt confident because at that time, Hero Man had been successfully upgraded by Professor Denton with stronger armor and defense. Unfortunately, Kogor's men have gathered more alien troops and robots to attack the city. Joey couldn't fight alone because there were too many of them. In addition, it turns out that Kogor's men have succeeded in resurrecting Kogor, and he has turned stronger and bigger. He even eats his own alien army in order to make himself stronger and invincible. Shortly after, Will arrives and offers to help Joey defeat Kogor together. But even though Joey, Hero Man, and Will had teamed up and united their power, Kogor still couldn't be defeated. On the other hand, Hero Man is now getting more and more damage due to various attacks from Kogor. Will is also seriously injured after protecting Joey from the attack. Moments later, the control device in Joey's arm began to change and became more powerful. Joey then decides to sacrifice himself by detonating the controller inside Kogor's body. But Hero Man suddenly got up and restrained Joey. After that, Joey and Hero Man who had now become stronger, immediately attacked Kogor with full strength. After a very fierce battle that took quite a long time, Joey and Hero Man finally managed to kill Kogor and the rest of his men. Joey and Hero Man once again managed to save the Earth from alien attacks and now they can go back to living their lives in peace as usual. Joey looks happy living with his friends. This anime teaches us to continue to be useful to those around us, and to have a high responsibility to help many people.